Hello everybody and welcome to the final episode of Thornton Farm. Oh, such a sad day. This has been such a good map. But we're going to go out with a bang, with uh, a selling session. Um, right, so basically what happened a few weeks ago is I said that there was going to be a lorry uh, which would come to the farm and it would sell all of our grain which is in storage. That hasn't really happened. Instead, what we're doing is we're going to use the IT runner pack for the final time because we've used the man lorry before, the MAN, whatever it is and um, I think something a little bit different would be quite nice um, although yes it probably would be more, more realistic if a contractor came and took it away um, I think for the purpose of this video it would be nicer to uh, do it this way so this is an IT runner trailer with the container next to it and so is this one over here we've got orange and yellow council colours. So we don't own them, these are being lent to us for an hour. So we've got to do as much as we possibly can do in that time. So it's like a hook lift, let's hook it on, get lined up. Yep, that was terrible. Try again. There we go. Brilliant, okay. So, um, yeah, is it, the IT runner pack is probably uh, something I, I should have used more. I didn't use it enough, and it's funny, it's only when you get to the end of a game that you then look back and think, oh yeah, I could have done more with that, it's a shame. So, today is the day when we're going to really use it. So, yeah, it means loading it up ourselves. There is a red car coming. We need space for two vehicles to pull out. Yeah, we have to load it up with the wheel loader. So we get the big bucket. Oh, I can't even see this way. We're okay. Good. And the John Deere should be following. Yes, there it is. You can just about see it in the wing mirror. Left down here. And the good thing about the yard is there's plenty of space to turn around, even two tractors and trailers. So, yeah, space isn't an issue, although, yes, worker incompetence. Let's get it back on track, crash into a tree. That would usually happen if we're going quite fast, but really then, we were going pretty slow. I don't know why it couldn't manage it, but there you go. It's just the way it was. Uh, right, so this is going to be um, a funny kind of a series ending, because it's episode 54. I would usually finish at a round number, like 50, or well, I suppose even 55. But it, it's just the way it turns out. It's going to be... 54 because I need to concentrate on Naveswell Farm and also we need to do the final episode of Sandy Bay and uh, when they're done really it, it's going to be the release of FS17 it's not too far away now i would better go slow around here otherwise the John Deere is going to crash once again oh, okay it's crashing to us absolutely useless yep still following yeah, the, the AI and the workers on Farming Simulator 17 do look a lot better. So I'm hoping that they're going to be a bit more intelligent. From what I've seen in the fact sheet videos, they do seem quite good. So I've got high hopes. We'll just spin around in here. Should be enough space. Kind of left the bale trailer in the way. But yeah, if we get the John Deere around, then we can at least stop it in a good position. So, yeah, about there. That can stop. And we're going to position this just around the corner. We'll probably have to move the quad bike. Put it in the workshop. There we go. So we're not really expecting too much money out of this. It's not really for the money. It's just to finish the series off nicely knowing that we'd gone to the effort and money of creating a good yield on those fields and then just sort of leaving it in storage would seem a bit wasteful the farm isn't going to be sold off so we're not going to sell anything only the crops so machinery is all going to stay okay that should be good and now for the wheel loader ah we might have to go and run over to it that could take some time Precious time is being cut into. 
Taking two or three minutes just to run over to here. Crazy. Right, okay. So, the bucket. Do we have one? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we probably don't, actually. It's another expense, but we'll be all right. Um, nope, we don't have one. So that can be rented as well. We'll have it delivered to the farm. So uh, one feature for Farming Simulator 17, which really just, I don't know, it was just such a good thing to hear, was the fact that the machinery ages. I think that is good because otherwise they all sort of stay brand new the whole time and all you have to do is wash it and it's new again. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much how it is in FS15. So um, yeah, you have to keep the maintenance on them otherwise they do sort of fall into disrepair whereas in 15 they don't. So yeah, that is good and also I think every tractor's got an hour meter built into it. I, I can't remember for sure but I think they do. Another thing is that, as far as I can see from the fact sheet videos, manual ignition is integrated as standard into the game. That is from what I can see, and a lot of other people have seen that as well. Um, in some of the fact sheets, for example yesterday's one, with the case, basically at the end of the video, the engine switched off, but the worker remained in the tractor. So there must be some form of manual ignition, which is just something you would sort of expect as standard anyway. So that's going to be good. There are a lot of brand new and very exciting features in the new game. That's why I just can't wait to get it. The same as you. Everybody, everybody wants to just get the game. And that brings me, oh hang on, that brings me on to the next talking point and that is the server. Now basically, I said about a week ago, five days ago, um, that the FS15 server was going to shut down and it might do. Now I realise that some people are going to probably not get 17 straight away because either they don't have the money available or they're waiting for Christmas or something. So yeah, they're going to probably still want to play on 15. This is weird, that is weird. It's sort of jumping when I hit the sunflower pile. So maybe getting rid of the 15 server straight away is a bad thing. And I've sort of considered keeping it, but I don't know because I'm trying to put the money into the 17 server so we can have more slots and possibly two servers. And if it's being wasted, well not wasted, but if it's going to be used on the 15, which probably most people won't play, then maybe we won't have as good of an experience on 17. I don't know. It's a very tough decision to make. But there is still the um, McStallion server, which I mentioned a few months ago. I think that's still going, but we'll see. I might be able to keep it going, hopefully. I guess it could be at like a reduced capacity, maybe eight slots instead of 12. Just trying to consider all the options really. Okay, so yeah, this is about load number six and we're doing okay. I'm not sure exactly how many sunflowers there are. Not individual seeds, but like liters. Fills up very quickly though with the wheel loader. Nice machine to use. Yeah, the pile is definitely going down quite quickly. Uh, we should check actually, how much do we have? It's going to be down here, multi fruit. Sunflowers, another 44,313 litres remaining. Rye, almost 120,000 litres. Wow. Obviously, hang on, that's not filling up. Obviously, we're going to fill up them both before we take them. There it goes. It's a bit solid. <laughs> They've obviously been in here a long time. That's not even a full load. Oh no, still 4% remaining. So these sunflowers were off field number 13. And that does feel like a long time ago now. I think it was a really hot day when I did that. And now obviously we're at the end of October. Oh, winter is approaching. I hate winter really do. I think some people actually like it. I'm, I'm not saying that like, oh, look at you, you like winter, haha. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, fair enough if you do, because obviously everyone's got their own opinion. Um, but I'm guessing people like different seasons for different reasons. Like some jobs are probably easier in 
colder temperatures and some are probably easier in hotter temperatures. Um, but yeah, just myself, really not a fan of the cold. Um, it's just, yeah, I just love the spring when you've got all the new growth and everything on the trees and all that. It's just a nice season to be in. Autumn is obviously quite a pretty season, but you know winter's approaching, so not always too good. Okay, so this needs to be put out of the way, I think probably over here. I'll just pull it over to here. I'm sure cars will be able to pass if they want to. Oh, it's stuck on a wall. There we go. And now for the next tractor, which is the John Deere. I can hear a tractor from here. Which one is it? This one. No, the Massey Ferguson, I think. Noisy tractor. The sound must carry well. Exactly the same trailer, just a different colour. And we're going to finish off the sunflowers with this one. It won't be... Oh, I've just crashed into a workshop. It won't be a... Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Load number two. This won't fill it, though. We don't have enough. But when we get to the rye... That would be a different story, we've got so much of it. The rye was from field 11, an even bigger field. That did actually show you the size of the field in some ways because we got almost 120,000 litres of rye off field 11 and roughly 60 to 70,000 litres of sunflowers off field 13. Oh, that's not good. That is solid. We might, in the end, have to fill it up from the auger if we can do the multi-fruit from there. Let's have a look and see, because I don't think I can actually get into it, which is a bit of a shame. Put it over here. And yeah, we might have to come back to it, but I'm kind of hoping, to keep it simple, the auger will work for this. It definitely works for the standard crops, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know about the multi-fruit. Oh, brilliant. It does work. Well, that saves a lot of effort with the wheel loader. And I'm sure there's only so much you want to watch of me loading these things up. So this is sort of cutting at the corner, but yeah, it gets the job done much quicker. So we finish off with 66% of this load, this trailer, and 100% of the other one. That's very good. We're going to head over to the store and see exactly how much money we can get from this. Come on, Massey Ferguson, you can do it. Don't crash like I did. One thing's for sure, the Massey Ferguson is not waiting. He keeps trying to push me out of the way. It's an adamant worker. We have to get to the sell point before the price changes. Oh, look at that, we've only got 35 minutes left on the rent. And we've got, well, we're not even halfway. Now we're using the auger, it should be quicker. Here we are. Slow down. Slow down. Ah! Ah! Crazy tractor! Oh well. Um, <laughs> oh, this is not good. We'll tip this. The money is rocketing up. Hang on. Where did that money go? I'm sure we had like 70,000 before. We got 17,000 off that, but oh, it must have been maintenance fees, I suppose. Yeah, we just randomly lost a load of money. Well, this is the fuller load, so this should be quite impressive. And then next time, both the trailers will be full of oats. So, yeah, looking forward to it. The thing about yellow, it always looks good on machinery. And there it goes. That is £26,784. Very good. Head back to the yard. We'll fill them both up with the auger, nice and quick. And we'll be back here, hopefully within five minutes. Back in the MF. 
love this tractor. I mean, the the series by Bullet Bill, they are just faultless. And I don't know if you've seen the new series he's bringing out, but yeah, it just looks so good. If you haven't seen it, head over to Bullet Bill's YouTube channel and you can see a video of them, of them being used. They do look absolutely amazing. Definitely not worth missing. Definitely not. You've got to download them when they're out. They look so good. Back under the auger. And this time, it's going to be two full loads. This is the thing about the end of a map, you've got to just have like one massive session of selling everything you've sort of harvested through the time of doing it. I mean, we've been going with this series for, it must be about four months I'd have thought. So there is so much to do, so much to sell. And now we've got time pressure, we've got 27 minutes to do this. And these are a capacity of 45,000 litres of time, I think, so we should do it. It's going to be a few trailer loads. Right, so this is the first one, three quarters full. Put a bit more in the back. There we go. Second one, we're still indicating how weird. We need Ryo again. Put it back on a worker. And we'll prepare to head over to the Blue Sphere store. One hundred percent. Off we go. Oh, the tractor's only got ninety-five liters of diesel left in it. Uh, should be all right because we're only towing a trailer. I think if it was land work, it would get through it much quicker. So many memories that are going to be saved from this map. It is just a map you could never forget. I can remember the first time I ever saw it. I was just like, I have got to play that map. And uh, lo and behold, yes, I did. I did a series. Well, this is the series. All the way up to 54 episodes. Incredible. And uh, yeah, the amount of time we've been doing this as well. It was May, I think. First episode. All the way back in May. And it's now almost November. Well, it's not almost November, but yeah, it's the, getting to the uh, the end of October. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Whoa. <laughs> that was close. And again, don't crash. It's always taking these corners at speed. Yeah, just about managed it. Now for the final load, I don't think we're going to need two tractors. It should be roughly 30 something thousand litres remaining, I would have thought. Let's just take a look. Oh, even less, 29. So yeah, definitely only one trailer. How much is this worth? Looking at about £566 per tonne. We're going to hit £100,000, first time in a long time. We've got £25,444 from that, which is actually less than a full trailer load of sunflowers. Let's get that in there. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Stop. So this should be exactly the same price because we're in the same hour. Prices change hourly. Yep, exactly the same. Back to the yard. Funny, I've never really taken the time to come in here. But we've got all the different grains stacked up. All different produce, sugar beet, potatoes, canola, wheat or barley, everything. And I think the Blue Jacket Dairy, I think that's out of ETS. Right, so, puts one over here, no longer needed. And we'll jump into the Massey Ferguson, which is just here. Oh. And we'll fill it up. Quickly get it sold. But again, this is not going to be a full load. So, yeah, really hoping you've enjoyed this series. And uh, also hoping to do some series just as long in the future for Farming Simulator 17. Uh, there should be some amazing maps over the next 
I suppose it would be roughly two years. It tends to be every two years that there's a new farming simulator release. So um, if it is, then over the next two years there should be some fantastic content coming out, hopefully. Uh, we already know of some. So we've done it with 17 minutes, probably almost 16, to spare. And yeah, we definitely wouldn't have done that without the auger. If we're doing it with the case wheel loader, then it would have been a lot slower. Well, there we go. So I just want to thank Oxygen David for allowing me to do this series and also for sharing the map with everybody. It has just been one of the best maps of FS15. I can say that without a doubt. It's just obviously one of the best maps within the top five. Um, but yeah, the, the sad moment has come where we have finished and that is actually it for this entire series. So yeah, sad time, but there'll be even more happier times ahead. Until next time, thank you for watching and hope to see you again in the next video. Bye for now.